welcome to Ludic Science. I want to make several projects using lithium ion batteries and therefore I bought this charger analyzer of batteries in order to work with them. So in this video I'm going to review this little charger for you. Okay, so we have the instruction manual, which is in what I believe is Chinese, but also in English. We have the power supply, and also you can power the device from your car using this adapter. And of course, the charger analyzer itself. Here you can plug the power supply and as you can see there is also an output a USB port 5 volts and this is an interesting part of this equipment when you have fully charged batteries in it you can also use it to power 5 volt devices for example to charge your mobile phone this charger can be used for three different chemistries lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, and nickel cadmium. And you can charge almost all of the cylindrical cells. We have four charging bays. That means that you can charge up to four batteries independently. But you have to take into account that the total current of the four bays cannot exceed four amps. That is, you can charge, for example, two batteries, each at two amps of charge, and that gives a total of four amps. However, you will not be able to use the two remaining bays. Or you can charge four batteries, each at one amp of charge, or any combination that does not exceed a total of four amps. When you connect the charger, and you have no batteries, you can see null on the screen. But let's put one of the cells in order to see the information on the screen. I am using bay number two. You can hear that the LED is on. And here you can see the screen. There are two, three modes on this charger. One is the charge mode. Another is the discharge mode and the tier one is test. The first two are self-explanatory and the test mode, what it does, it does, it will totally charge your battery, then discharge it totally and charge it again. And after this cycle, 
it will give you the total capacity of your battery. You change the modes with this button and suppose that we want to charge the battery. I put it on charge and here I can select the current. You can select from 500 milliamp hours up to 2000 milliamp hours. And this is blinking. After eight seconds, it will stop to blink. You can see, and that means that your charging cycle has initiated. You can see here the total milliamp hours that has been injected into the battery. Here is the voltage. This cell was almost fully charged, so the voltage is 4.2 volts. The screen turns off automatically after some 10 seconds, but pressing any button will bring it back again. So, voltage, total milliamp hours, time elapsed, and here you can see the, the charging current that you selected. After the battery is completely charged, the charge proce process will stop and you will read the total milliamp hours that has been put into your battery and the elapsed time. I will try with these two batteries in the test mode in order to obtain the capacity of the cells. As you can see, this battery says 8800 milliamp hours, which of course is not true. Even the best batteries will give you not even half of this capacity. But let's check to see what is the capacity that we get. I will put this in bay number two and select the test mode. And I will use a charging current of 500 milliamp hours. Okay, it has started the process. And then the other, I will put the battery backwards and you can see that the charger will detect that is not connected in the proper position. So I put it in the right way. Now I select also test mode, but this I will charge at 2000 milliamp. You can select different parameters for each of the four bays of the charger. Okay, the process has started. And in bay number two, we have the other cell. It has now six milliamp hour of charge. Remember, this is a three step process. It will completely charge the battery first, then discharge it completely, and then charge again. And at the end of that process, it will give you the real capacity of your cell. Okay, the process is finished. You can see that the lights are green and that indicates that the batteries have been tested. The first one in bay number two indicates 449 milliamp hours in discharge and 479 in charge. The two figures are always very similar. Of course, it is much, much less than the 8800 milliamp hours that the battery says, we already knew that. And the other battery in bay four indicates 498 and 491 milliamp hours. Okay, so there you have it. A very convenient battery charger and analyzer. Of course, you can also charge your batteries using only a uh, power supply. I have a video on that. And also you can test the capacity using a homemade circuit. I also have a video. The links are on the description of this video if you want to check them. Thanks for visiting my channel. Hope you liked this video and see you in the next one.